daughter says go. Briar Tuck was slow out about three parts of a length. Right up there is True Arrogance in the early part of it. Africa, Red Rover. Piano Forest is right there and Chills also there. Line of five going to the 1300 metre marker. Briar Tuck manages to get onto the inside and only three lengths off them after a slightly st slow start. Peregrine Kings racing between them. They're really going a good clip up front. Then there's three lengths away, Jamal, Kentucky Guest, the two greys together, Forestry Law. At this stage, Royal Galaxy's a dozen lengths off there, Mr. Gigolo. Great detail is the trailer, I'd say about 13 lengths first to last. Red Rover now wins the battle for the lead from Africa in second, then comes Piano Forest. Chills racing away in fourth, Friar Tucker's fifth with True Arrogance on the outside. Peregrine King between runners, seven lengths off them, Jamal Kentucky Guest. Royal Galaxies in the Blue Silks, 10 lengths off them. Great detail, Forestry Law, and Mr. Gigolo's got all to do. Red Rover with 500 metres to go, cleared away by two from Africa. Chill towards the outside to come forward. Friar Tucks racing between runners, Jamal towards the inside. Coming to the 300 and Red Rover's built up a good lead, gone about three lengths clear. Africa towards the outside. Look right hand side, the grey Kentucky guest looking to run on Forestry Laws on the inside. 150 to go, Red Rover. Forestry Laws making a big race of it on the inside. And Forestry Law coming home best of all. Forestry Law bounces away from Red Rover. Chill does enough for third, and you take your pick for fourth. Africa's in a photo with Kentucky Guest, Royal Galaxy, maybe Africa in the middle, but let's wait on the photo for those minor positions. Number 11, Forestry Law from the Donation Stable comes bursting through under Warren Kennedy. And number 11 shows some 14 rand a win and 4 rand 90 the place and goes on to dispose of this field. Looking at that last run, he came with a strong finish to beat them and he's followed up out the maidens. Red Rover made a break for it, looked to steal it, stays on second. Then came Chill and behind those, Africa's between them. Kentucky Guest and Royal Galaxy, it's very, very tight for the minor position. Maybe Africa in the middle, but let's wait on the photo. Then came Jamal, Piano Forest, Friar Tuck, Peregrine King and Mr. Gigolo. Red Rover looked to sprint away from them, looked to the inside. The white blinkers of Forestry Law now looking to come forward. 300 to go, Red Rover, Africa, but now Forestry Law. He puts in a big determined effort on the inside, and he comes into the lead over the last 120, and then goes on for a back-to-back -back victory out here from Forestry Law. Red Rover comes out second best, chill staying on. Africa's involved in that photo for the minor positions. Back to the studio. We've just seen the race that will close off the place accumulates and pick six race number nine well done to trainer low in donation a small string of horses but he's uh ticking over nicely here and uh, number 11 has come to to close off the pick six took a bit of time to crack that maiden 11 runs to do so but he's followed up smartly here and uh, compliments to the yard uh, firstly low and things are looking good thanks dz yeah, the last few months have been a lot lot better a lot more positive just firstly um, i just spoke to him now grant's corners at work he, very good luck to him. Um, he was a bit frustrating at times, this horse. You know, he was always going to be a late maturing horse. He's just been, like I say, a late maturing. He was soft, kept having niggles and problems and things going wrong. I gave him a rest. I brought him back from a rest. Then he got uh, um, a race meeting, rained out, another one rained out. Then he went to the try to get on the float. He got loose, ran through a gate. Sure. How he survived that, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, and then like five or six bad draws in a, in a row. Last time he ran, a, he won a very good race. If you had done your homework, you would have seen he had Foster's 400 to finish on the day mm. by a long way. Um, and, uh, yeah, thank God he's, he's followed up here. I think he's a nice horse and hopefully he continues to improve. Amazing. He's taken a bit of time, but uh, horses get that confidence. And, and now he's had back-to-back -back wings, which is uh, excellent because it's always tough out the maidens. Absolutely. And it's always hard to, to, to fancy a horse first run out the maidens. Um, but I was, was of the opinion he was on the up, you know. Mm. Just uh, thank God. It's been a bad day so far. So, um, yeah, nice to end it off. Well, it's one to go, but nice to have a bit more positivity. Give our compliments to Grant. And uh, before you leave us, next race, I can't believe the draws of your runner there. I'm, I'm just having a look at it, and I, I want to touch on this because 
what she's she's drawn 12 out of 12 11 out of 12 11 out of 11 11 out of 11 now 15 out of 15. do i need to say anymore <laughs> so, good all to do yeah, exactly you know and uh, yeah some horses no disrespect need a lot a little bit more in their favor before they can actually win you know so they earn and but you know you need when it's your day it's your day you know but there's a couple to beat there uh, how's she she's very well but it's like i said there's a couple to beat there you need you need uh, luck from the jump um just thanks to warren it's the first time he sat in the sauce um he yeah he was Basically put the horse in the, in the perfect position and uh, they did the rest. Well done, Lord. Thank you very much. Sir. Lovely. Well done, Grant Conwell. Take us through it. I mean, uh, first run out the maidens, we just had a quick chat. You, you, you thought it will be tough, but this all surprised you? He did. You know, um, a friend of mine spoke to me before the race, actually, and he said, you know what, I fancy yours, but out of confidence, you'll win it. And I looked at him like he was uh, <laughs> around, the, around the loop. Yeah, you know, sure, um, sure. you know, coming out the maidens, always difficult. He didn't win a strong maiden race when he did win, so... He had it all to do today, I thought, but, you know, full credit to Lowe, and he said to me the horse is on the up, and he proved it today, you know, he had a, a semi-decent draw, which is very rare for Lowen, like you guys touched on, but it doesn't matter with this horse, he likes to be dropped right out, so I dropped him out, luckily the pace was really hot, and, you know, I knew they weren't going to really quicken down the straight, it was just a matter of not letting him get too far ahead of me, and, you know, top of the straight, I squeezed him, and he, he responded readily, and he ran through them, like a hot enough to but I really cruise through and I knew if he's going to quicken there's nothing really going to be challenging me coming to the 200 and you know that's exactly what happened 200 out I, I got into him and he just responded really nicely and he, all the way to the line just having a look at it on, on, on paper there because I, I, I just want to have a look at the source on, on paper uh, uh, forestry law uh, four year old took a bit of time to win the maidens uh, you haven't sat on the source before uh, Warren no never this my first time um, yeah but I know Sean Veal fancied him last time when he won he said he's a really nice horse, he's, he is improving, so, you know, thanks to Lone for finding me to ride him. You know, I don't get up to Ashburton very often, or I used to get, go up once a week, but now it's really difficult to, and, you know, the guys there still support me, you know, Julie and Lowen, they still put me on the horses, and I'm glad to bring it home for them. Fantastic, nice ride for your followers out there, and uh, well played, well done. Thanks, Dee, thanks very much. Lovely, Warren Kennedy uh, for Lowen Donation, Grant Cornwell, well done to you, and of course, uh, hi, Joe Stud. Close Corporation bred number 11, Forestry Law. If you caught the score, Ted, to the pick six or place accumulator, found this horse, congratulations. 11, 6, 5, and 8, your provisional result, race number one. One more left this afternoon at uh, Scottsville. Coming up next, closing off the meeting, will be race number 10.